Is it Le Movie Geek's diary? Yes, it is. Where is the key? We lost it. Daya, I am with Sheriff Truman, and we both took the liberty to open Lee Movie Geek's diary. Let's see it closely. Here is the last entry, dated January 31st, 2021. It reads, based on almost 40 movies discovered this month, not including movies I already knew and I watched again, I'd like to highlight eight of them, ranked in order of preference. Let's start by the number eight. To be honest, I wasn't expecting anything from an action movie starring Paul Walker. But I must confess, I enjoyed Running Scared by Wayne Kramer, a good furiously paced thriller that goes over the top. Mobsters, drug addicts, a hooker, a wife beater with John Wayne tattooed on his back, a dangerous pimp, an evil cop, very creepy pedophiles, and many others cross the path of the main characters, including a little boy played by Cameron Bright. It's somewhere between Little Red Riding Hood, After Hours, and Tarantino. The Wise Guys not the Brian De Palma film, but the French film directed by Robert Enrico, in 1965. The cast includes two popular French actors, Gourville as Hector, owner of a small sawmill, and Lino Ventura as Laurent, an ex-convict hired as a lumberjack. He's a lumberjack and he's okay! He convinced Hector to use prisoners as part of a privation program that allows the convicts to work outside. And so begins the story about rival groups of woodcutters and betrayal. It's a kind of western but set in French locations, with beautiful landscapes, enhanced by the great score composed by Franz Waterube. Alfred the Great a 1969 epic movie by Clive Downer, starring an excellent David Hemmings as the title role, also Michael York, and a very young Ian McKellen. Battles, murders, rapes, tortures, the good old times. Adolescent, gorgeously shot in widescreen, it is an immersive documentary film about the complexity of growing older following the lives of two teenage girls sometimes brutally interrupted by key moments in recent French history, like the Paris attacks. After five years and 500 hours of rushes, director Sebastien Lifshitz made a fascinating and intimate portrait of Anais and Emma from 13 to 18. Last year in October, a Lumiere Film Festival in France paid homage to the New York director Joan McLean Silver, a forgotten pioneer of the American independent cinema, who died only two months later. In 1979, she directed Head Over Heels, aka Chilly Scenes of Winter, a delicate and subtle story of impossible love, beautifully played by John Hurt and Mary Beth Hurt. The following scene will look very familiar to many of us. Are you leaving me? Yes. God, your glasses. Forget the glasses. It's okay. Forget Just the glasses. I, I can fix it. Laura, we're good together. We have fun together. But we don't even have to do anything if we have fun together. I love you. I want to marry you. But we can get custody of Rebecca. So what if he's her father? He's probably a lousy father. He's a good father. We can have our own children, Laura. We could sell this place, and we could get a restaurant, and we could, uh, you could be a chef, and all you have to do is take the chance. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not the hundred yard dash. It doesn't make any difference who got there first. I'm talking about a lifetime between us together. These will hold you until you get to the optician. Why would you choose someone who loves you too little over someone who loves you too much? Because it makes me feel less of a fraud. I know some people will be mad at me. But I've never seen Evil Dead 2 before. I saw it for the first time this month. That's impossible. I obviously loved it, and it made its way to the podium. Sam Raimi is a genius, and Evil Dead 2 is an hilarious descent into madness. It's a brilliant horror comedy, with cartoonish violence, and very inventive camera shots. <laughs> In 
in second place. Katie Tipple, a 1975 film by Paul Verhoeven based on a true story. It became one of my favorite Verhoeven's movies, and it's the confirmation that I much prefer his early Dutch films. Where are you? Dick Phil, thuis. I'm with a rijke vrouw trouw. Geld maakt van mensen rotzakken. My favorite movie of the month. Criss Cross, by the great Robert Syodmak, one of the most influential film directors of the 40s, who again teamed with his leading actor from The Killers, Burt Lancaster. I really love American film noir, and this one is a magnificent classic. It's also an opportunity to see Tony Curtis in his first film appearance as a rumba dancer. <laughs> That's it. Now I have a few films to watch. Diane, I'm holding in my hand a small box of chocolate bunnies.